Hey everyone, and welcome to a new video. It's a face video, which I haven't done in a really long time. I actually am not terribly annoyed with this lighting. There is one light bulb right above me that is burnt out in my room, so I have like my side table light on. Um, but the lighting isn't terrible right now. Um, considering it's 8.30 and it's kind of dark outside, I only have like a little tiny window down here anyway. Um, but welcome to my first video of me sitting on my bed. My posters, um, you may or may not have seen my room tour before this. I filmed it like a while ago, like pretty much when I first moved in. Like once I got everything set up, I filmed it. Um, so like the calendars were on a different month because like this is my September calendars. So like there's Minyaki and um, Dumbledore right there. Um, but I have not been editing videos and... <laughs> I need to be so um, that's a thing that I haven't been doing um, so that might be after this video that you see that because I there's a lot of comebacks in October happening um, and I wanted to talk about my October collection plans as I'm filming this it is only September 21st so I'm going to mention a few things right now that I'm waiting for um, that I that may or may not arrive before the end of September um, and so if they do I'll either put a disclaimer at the bottom or just cut them out of this video entirely um, but as of right now I am waiting for I have um, my um, Moonbin and Sana unit is in the mail from K-Pop Market 01 as is my Stray Kids um, Repack. I wasn't going to buy the Stray Kids Repack, and I love Backdoor and the styling. This um, repack is just Chef's Kiss, so I caved and bought it because they're not an alt group, and so I wasn't planning on buying a repack for an alt group. Um, but I've been breaking a lot of um, my own rules these past few months. Um, just look at my eight copies of Hangar A17, and <laughs> we'll decide that. Um, anyway, so I'm waiting for my Moonbin and Sana and my um, Stray Kids repack, which may or may not be here before the end of the month. Also, as I'm filming this, is today is the day of the The Boys comeback, and so I ordered a group order with my friend um, for The Boys. I should check that, because apparently we ended up on the, like, order page for, um, for the United, for K-Town For You, because we all broke another rule. I bought all three com all three versions of the boys album. Um, and they're not an alt <laughs> at the moment. Um, and so, uh, but she ordered for three of us. So there's nine total copies of that, um, coming. And then she ordered, I think Everglow also. Um, but I didn't participate in that one because I don't really stand Everglow. Um, but so those are coming. So those are September comebacks that are coming. Also, um, Super M is supposed to be later this week having a comeback, but I've seen no album details, like barely, well, like a little bit, but like barely any album details, and like I haven't found a place to pre-order it yet. Um, I think they're going to have it at Target, but I don't know if they're doing like member versions, because Target doesn't carry those. I guess I'm not entirely sure, so we'll have to see what happens, um, but I will probably go to Target the day it releases if I can. Um, unless it's Thursday, then we'll see, but, because I'm planning, hoping to leave this weekend to go, um, with my mom to jar some pears at her cousin's house, so we'll see that, um, but I'm going to talk about some of the, I think that's all the rest of the September comebacks that I am covering, I think that's it, um, yeah, so we're going to talk about things in October, um, BTS's notes, part two apparently is coming out um also apparently mine has shipped like a long time ago shipped supposedly but it hasn't arrived yet so I don't know what that's about um but that should be coming soonish um and then we'll look at this list now I have um I'm on dbkpop.com because I like their lists because they have like a little calendar but I also have um, kpopofficial.com pulled up just in case 
there are any that are missed because I think last time I used DBK Pop they hadn't updated when I used it and so there was a lot of things that were not on there yet. Um, so first we have, um, we'll do the ones with official dates and then we'll go back and like look at the other ones. So Blackpink on the second is having come back with the album called The Album. It's their first full length album. Um, I don't collect Blackpink and I listen to their music. I, on popular opinion, think a lot of their more recent songs sound very similar. Um, How You Like That has grown on me and I do now like it better than Do 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 Do. Um, but I didn't like it. Like I liked Kill This Love. I still like Kill This Love a lot. And then Do 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 was okay. And then um, How You Like That came out and I was like, eh, but now I like that one more than Do Do Do. But not Kill This Love. So that's my rankings of current Blackpink um, title tracks. Um, on the fifth um, way, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, is debuting with an album called Identity First Something. Um, are they on here? Oh, it doesn't say the name. But that's a new boy group um, from WE Entertainment. Um, O-E-I, WE. Um, and that has Kim Yohan from, um, from X1. Excuse me. Kim Yohan from X1 is in it. Um, and I plan to listen to it for sure. I don't know if I'll purchase um, the album or not, but I do plan to listen. Um, if I really like it, I might buy it, but we'll see. Um, Newest is making a Japanese debut on the 10th, or the 7th, um, with the album titled Drive. I also thought it had said in like big hits, whatever like thing that New East would make a comeback in October. I guess it was Japanese. I don't think it said that, but like they did their like revenue, like their plans or whatever. Um, and someone shared a picture of it on Twitter. Um, maybe it was TXT October and New East November. Maybe I don't know. Um, but those were the those were the plans, um, so I'm gonna listen to that. I pro I won't collect their Japanese, but I will listen to that. Um, JY Park is on the seventh, also coming out with a Japanese album called JY Park Best, and it's a best of album. Um, so that's really interesting. Also, supposedly on the seventh, Golden Child is having a comeback. I've heard no information. I did watch the teaser when it came out and I was like wait they're already having a comeback they just had a comeback in June um ow what did I do to my finger um I was like so I don't know what that means but then I've never heard any information since the teaser was released so I don't even know the name of the album there's no like pre-order anything so I don't know what's going on with that um because some of the ones that are coming out like late October already have pre-orders so I have no idea um but I'm excited for more Golcha. Um, I am still waiting for, I had two trades from my Take a Leap album that I did because I pulled two Juchans that were stuck together and then I made the mistake of messaging two people and asking if they wanted them so I just traded both um, for uh, Dale's both versions. So I have a black back Dale and a white back Dale and I got my black back Dale but my white back was coming from Poland and she got mine because she sent me the message that she got it but I still have not gotten hers and so I've been keeping her updated um, on it but I haven't but I have still have not received hers and I think our mail person here is a little weird because I just tried to send a trade off like a couple weeks ago and twice he's put it in my he just put it back in our mailbox and I was like, this is not even for me. Like, this is for someone else. And so, like, my name is in the return address side. Um, so I just put it in a different mailbox, like at my work, instead of in my home place. But I feel like he doesn't give us our mail a lot. So I'll check the mail. I don't know if anybody got the mail today. So maybe I'll check tomorrow and see if it's, pray that it's in there. Um, anyway. Um, and then on the 8th, Wiki Mickey has a comeback with the album called New Rules. Um, it's their fourth mini album. Um, I 
haven't decided if I want to purchase yet or not. I also haven't seen pre-orders for that available yet. Um, but I really liked Dazzle. And then Oopsie was kind of okay for me, but I bought it. So I might see how this title track sounds. Like, Wiki Mickey's kind of hit or miss for me. But we'll see. Um, and Dazzle wasn't even an album. It was just like a photo book and a photo card. So, because Dazzle was on the Oopsie album. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, on the 11th, Kiara? Kiara? I don't know. I've never heard of her. Um, she's making a comeback with her second single called Tomboy. Um, I don't know anything about her, but maybe I'll have to listen. Um, and then on the 13th, Weekly is making a comeback with the album title We Can. Um, I did like their Tag Me song. I don't remember if they had a physical release for it or not, or if that's going to be on this album. But I did like Tag Me, so we'll see if we like this one. Um, on the 19th, Luna is coming back with their third mini album called 12 O'Clock. Um, I don't stand Luna. <laughs> um, but I do listen to their songs occasionally, so I might listen to their songs. Um, on the 21st, Eyes One is coming out with their first Japanese album called 12. Um, I listen to Eyes One's Korean title tracks. I have not listened to any of their Japanese title tracks. I don't stand Eyes One either. Um, oh my gosh, excuse me. I just got really tired all of a sudden for no reason. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then on the 26th, TXT is making a comeback with their Minisode 1 blue something. I just pre-ordered it um, from K-Town for You um, like an hour ago. Um, <laughs> But it looks like it's the start of a new series, so their dream chapter is done, and now they're on Minisode. So that'll be interesting. Um, there are three versions. I pre-ordered a random version because TXT is not an alt, so I only buy one version of their album. Um, and then, apparently on the 28th, Super Junior KRY is releasing a Japanese single called Traveler. Um, so that'll be pretty interesting. Or is it just Kyuhyun? I don't know. It just says Super Junior K, and then there's like dot dot dot. So maybe this one will tell me. <laughs> I don't know if you just heard that laugh. My roommates are playing D&D. &D two floors up, but they're very loud sometimes, so you can hear them. Um, this website says that it's on October 8th. It's just Super Junior Kyuhyun is doing a project. Um, so that's interesting. So maybe it is just Kyuhyun by himself, um, but it's not on the 28th, it's just the 8th, according to this. Um, there is also, let's see, very, very is supposed to make a comeback in October. Um, does this have dates? Let's see here if there's other things that have dates. Oh, on the 12th is NCT 2020, um, Resonance Part 1. That's coming out, so I'm wondering if they're going to do a 2021 thing. I honestly, when everyone was like, why didn't we get a, a, a NCT 2019? Why don't we get an NCT 2019? And then we never got an NCT 2020. I personally thought it was because when they did NCT 2018, there was 18 members. And so I thought they were going to wait till 2021 because now they have 21 members and then release it 2021. That's what I personally thought. And maybe that was their original intention. But then with the whole like pandemic and not being able to tour, they were like, let's just release. We'll just change it to 2020 because these poor Mark and Taeyong, these poor boys, and Lucas and Tan are just constant promotions. Constant promotions. 
because they're promoting with Super M, and then they're going to promote anyway. Um, but I just pre-ordered that too, so. Am I NCT trash? Of course. But anyway. Um, Seventeen is supposed to have an October comeback. I'm kind of surprised that they got a comeback before Newest did, because Newest's comeback was older than Seventeen's. Uh, Seventeen's was more recent than Newest's. Um, but also not complaining, hence my eight copies of Hangar A. I'm trash. Um, but please don't be four, four copies. That would, it's way too many. Four versions. Um, Pentagon is making a comeback in October. I listened to Pentagon, um, like just their title tracks and stuff, but after Road to Kingdom, I've started listening to like even more of them. I really loved Dr. Bebe was really good, and Bascot that came out of um, Road to Kingdom is really good. And I'm hope I'm assuming that'll be on this album because it's their first comeback since Road to Kingdom. Um, and so I really want to listen to it. Um, cause like the boys have checkmate and one us had, um, come back home. And so I'm like really, really excited for that, for Bascot. I might buy this Pentagon album just for that purpose. Um, because it was really good. It was a really good song and they deserve a win. Hui deserves a win. Anyway, um... Drippin' will make a debut in October 2020, which is the new boy group from Willem. Um, I still call them Willems because that's just what I wrote down. I plan to support them. I think I'm going to buy their debut album, but I don't know if I'll continue to buy. So I have to decide if I want to put them in my Willem binder or if I want to put them in my X1 binder because I don't know. Um, B1A4 is making a comeback in October. And it is only three members because Barrow and Jin Young did leave the group in 2017. Um, and they're both still in the military. So the three remaining members are now um, CNU's back and Sandal and uh, Gong Chen are, have not left for the military yet. So they're all still, now they are all free <laughs> so they can have a comeback. I think I'm going to listen to it before I make a decision if I'm going to buy it. Um, but I think if I buy it, I'm going to just give B1A4 their own section in my binders. Because right now they're in my, like, everybody else binder. Um, give them their own, like, company section. Um, and see how we feel about that. Um, P1 Harmony is going to debut in October 2020. They are from um, the same company as FD Island, AOA... SF9 and flying like they're from that company and there's been a lot of you know a lot of drama surrounding that company with the whole um thing with the member from um and FT Island the whole AOA thing um and then there was like some drama with one of their trainees and I don't know if any of it's true I'm not like condoning the tr the behavior if it is true and I'm not saying it's not I'm not saying that it's false information because I don't know. I just know what was said. So I think I will probably listen to the group, but I don't think I'm going to stand. I also have been debating because I'm trash. Um, I've really, really been interested in SF9's Glorious. Their album was really good. And my roommate started watching um, Extraordinary You, and I've been like watching pieces of episodes and whole episodes with her, like when I come up to eat lunch during my lunch break while I'm working from home these next two weeks. Um, and I am like in love with Rowan now. <laughs> so I'm almost real, I'm like really tempted to buy Glorious, but I'm gonna wait until the October comebacks happen or they're announced and I've like already paid for them and then see where my money <laughs> is at. Um, cause I do want to support, maybe I'll just buy Rowan cards, I don't know, but I do want to support them, but I will not be buying P1 Harmony's album, um, but I may listen to it, we shall see. With all the drama, I, like, don't want to support that group, but I do want to support, like, N Flying and SF9 that are part of them, I want them to, like, get the recognition they need. Um, La Bomb is gonna make a comeback in October 2020, I don't know La Bomb. I've heard of them, but I don't know 
anything about them. TR's Soyen will make her solo debut in October 2020. That's cool for her. Um, Winner's Song Mino will release a solo album in October 2020. A full solo album, so that's really cool. Um, Mino is my second winner bias. There's only four members, so it's like hard to have bias. But Jinu is my first bias, and so his solo is probably the only one I will buy from them because I don't buy winner's albums either. Um, but I will be listening because I do love Mino, and I will support. Um, Twice are rumored to have a comeback in October 2020 as well. So that's a lot of people having a comeback. Let's check this other one because I feel like there were some other things that I missed. Okay, so this one has 20, NCT 2020 listed on the 12th and the 19th um, of October, so I think they must be releasing two things. But I don't know when the actual album is releasing, um, so we'll see. Im Changjung, I don't know who that is, but supposedly um, he is releasing a 16th full album, wow, on October 19th. Um, Prisma, never heard of Prisma, but they're on this list. Um, and CIX is supposed, their comeback is supposed to finally be happening now. That was supposed to happen back in like, was it June? It was like May or June, so that's supposed to be happening now as well. Um, so that's really exciting. I think that is everything. Um, I do have a lot of videos prepped. You will probably have seen most of these before this video goes up, but I have some unboxings that I have to go through, and then I'm su I was super late. You all definitely have seen that before this, because I'm going to go edit it right now. I was super late with my August unboxing and my August photo card organization. Um, and then I have my unboxings of the stuff that came in September. And then I have some my September unboxing and my September photo card organizing will be probably after this video because those will probably come out in October. And then I have um, my room tour, which will come out eventually when I get that far for editing purposes because um, there was long stretches of me leaving the camera out but having to turn it off because I had to go do things. Um, so yeah, all of those things are going to happen. Um, I will be frantically editing after this. Um, I was going to watch some dramas because I'm behind on some dramas, but that'll be a tomorrow problem. Um, anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what um, which comebacks in October you are the most excited for. Um, also make sure to like, um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!